Welcome one and all back to the underground. You're here with me, One Man Jack, and we're playing some more Ring Runners. We're back on our... Then we're going to rendezvous with the King Slager. Pa pa pa, Rizzo is no more. Long has he been a sore in my mouth, but no more, and all thanks to you, Sage. A sore in your mouth? Yes, it's an expression of my people. Have you ever tried double salt jerky with a blister on your lip? Very painful, but I can never refuse a cured gun. Aside from the expressions, you speak so clearly now. More than clearly, elegantly, I should say, we Momills and the Space Fills are the aristocrats of our people. The ones who still jerk meats in the salt deserts of our homeworld are the real peasants. Speaking candidly, I was nonplussed by the fact that a seasoned sage hadn't previously digested the Momish language. But it is an honor to be your introducer, and it is an honor to have such a magnificent pilot to jockey my ships into battle. Speaking of which, I have a new one for you, as per my promise. Oh yeah! That is a proper warship. Your pupils must be dilated. Now I apologize in advance for asking such a trifle of a siege of your threatitude, but can you clear the trash that blocks the cruiser's path east? Our recent affront will not go unanswered, even as I speak to you, Krugler's clippers edge closer to our whiskers. We must find the quickest route back to the hutch, and this is it. Bro, I can absolutely do that for you. Aw, oh, fucking caster! Uh, looks like this ship is equipped with a bunch of charged abilities. The longer you hold down their respective buttons, the more potent they'll become. Let's head over to the trash we have to clear, and I'll give you a quick rundown of the ship's systems. Man, Nero, I know exactly how this works. We've got the sign cannon, we've got the rocket boost, yeah, sine wave cannon, X to fire, hold to charge. You can shoot a few, or you can shoot a whole bunch. I've got my own personal sun I can shoot. I've got a knockback cannon thing. The sun fires in tune with my own uh, trajectory, and I can... Whoop, waited too long. And I can knock the sun around with this B button thing to give it some extra velocity. Alright, I've got a damaging teleport and another damaging teleport. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know what to do. Wait, what's... Yeah. I'm not going to often skip dialogue, but I know exactly how to use casters. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. Hmm. Ah. As you might have guessed, casters are my favorite class. Alright, I'm, I'm supposed to be clearing this trash. That's right. Yeah, I'm not the kind of guy who likes to, um, skip dialogue, but I know how to pilot one of these babies. Don't you worry a thing about that. That was a rather long reload time for the core. I'm gonna have to watch my energy because... What is that? One, two, three... Three seconds. That's a while for a reload. You're virtuosic with trash, Sage, born to scrap in the scrap. The path is clear, not a moment too soon. <gasps> Are there people to kill? Oh, please don't want people to kill. Ah, shit! Artillery strike! Sage, we're being bombarded! Take out that spotter! Oh, gladly. I can, I can do that. Ah, that was fun. Now, who wants some death? I did not intend for you to acclimate yourself to the Bodkin in this manner, but Krugler has set these terms. Mercifully, I had a critical time loop device installed on your ship. 
It will save you should you be destroyed, but it takes a while to recharge after it has been activated. So do not abuse your temporal immortality. I hate to ask more of you, Sage, but can you cover the cruiser's escape? My whiskers are wilting as is. I can ill afford the loss of another ship. I'll do you one better. I'm gonna trim Krugler's boat. Pa pa pa! Superb! Going to most uberously trim his boat. Dude, you handed me a caster. I could take out an entire army with this baby. Like, look at the range on the sine wave cannon. And the damage on that supernova is nothing to laugh at either, though. I imagine a little bit, like, look at that, look at that, I can bomb them from downtown, just gotta lead them, right? Quick trim. I'm back, guys. I blew up a boat. Is the mission over? Sagely done! Now return to the hutch. I fear I know what Krugler will do next. Uh, now, now is when the game... We're almost to where the game starts for real. Krugler, that molting runt, he is like a man with his brain removed. Now he attacks with blind aggression that can only result in our mutual destruction. I have hope with you on our side, Sage. See my hutch through this war and I will lavish you with stipends for as long as I am king. Now, I'm just going to pause for a moment to point something out. Didn't he just say, like, one minute ago, wind it back, that, and I quote, his whiskers are wilting and he couldn't afford the loss of a cruiser. That means he's poor. So if he doesn't have much money, what's he going to pay me with? Just, uh, something to think about. Totally not foreshadowing what's gonna happen. I wouldn't do that. Ah, man. I hurt- I hurt my thumb earlier today at work. I, I, like, peeled the thumbnail away from the flesh really bad, and, like, now every time I press a button with my thumb, it's like, ah, no pain! Why you do this? Your thumb's wounded, stop! But I like video games, so I'm gonna ignore it. We better destroy the spotters before they get in range! You're absolutely right, Nero. Uh, hey, spotter guy, you wanna pay attention to me blowing you up? No? Okay. Bottles are being deployed by the cruisers. Destroy them. Okay, sure, why not? It's a uh, cycle energy. Just send a flurry of sign bolts. Like, look at that! Look at that destruction! It's like a shotgun of death that doesn't lose accuracy with range. Oh, it's so good. Ah, oh, it's so much good. I love this gun. I, I specifically love the sine wave cannon. Like, there's a lot about casters that I like. Like he mentioned, the, um, temporal something, whatchamacallit thing. If I die... It'll wind back time, like my personal timeline, like one or two seconds, which only affects me and nothing else, and it has like a 30 second recharge rate. So while you're in a caster, you effectively have to die twice inside a 30 second span for it to actually stick. Mm. And this cruiser is getting beat up pretty bad. Man, I wish these other rats were useful for something aside from... Well, actually, no, they're not useful for anything.
Oh no, they're gonna drop the cruiser! No! Not my cruiser! Shit. Good lord. I mean, I know there's a lot of the Centrians, but still. Rats can't do anything. Oh, you might notice the stars beneath me and the bolts firing out seemingly randomly to attack nearby ships. That is the caster veterancy, the other reason I love casters. For one, it gives you free damage automatically shooting at anything nearby you if you have a charged, or you can expend one charge to do this cool AoE Nova Blast thing. But the thing is that Nova Blast doesn't have a cooldown, so you can just hop it really hard and really fast. Oh, that was the time loop activating. I ate a lot of turret bolts there. But it's okay. I have a time loop. I'm not gonna die. Don't know what... I don't know if it displays the cooldown for that time loop anywhere, but dying... It's, it's not long. It's like 30 seconds. Bonus completed. Lots of bonuses for keeping the hutch healthy. You have performed heroically, Sage, but the war is not over. We must repost! Time out! I'm thirsty. I am a professional in every way. Ah. Mmm. Ah, tasty fruit juice. Okay. We're ready to keep going. <sighs> Hutchlings, I don't need to remind you of Krugler's atrocities. We've all lost more family to his attacks than we can remember. Now we knock at the ribs of Krugler's lungs. Let us strike with all our spite and leave him breathless. Ow. His, his voice. Like doing his voice is making my throat hurt. I might drop it. Sage, you are the shining point of this spearhead. I would have you sharp as sand pines and needles. To this end, I've granted you a new weapon. The Protovolt Arcing Cannon. The other reason I love casters. Let these Centrians feel it. Great against clusters of enemies. It fires like a laser but bounces to nearby hostiles. Bound to alternate X-Fire. You know, I don't quite think they intended me to charge this group of enemies. Oh wait, I'm a sage! I can slow time! What am I doing dicking around with not time slow? Hmm. Ah, shit. Oh, there were- th oh, there were four arsenals firing at me. Okay, so... Maybe I will actually no no I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get fancy. Instead of being stupid, I'm gonna get fancy. And watch this. Casters are fragile, so I should just hammer them from down here. Like look at look at the range on that. Great damage, it's easy to hit with, and it has long range. What more could you want from a weapon? Good lord, that's a lot of charms. Let's, uh, send some of those out, shall we? Man, I don't know if I'll be able to chew through the bomber's 
enough to put any actual damage on that thing. I might actually need them, just because they have that much collective health point between the bombers and the fort. Or I can use my allies as a distraction and just hammer the fort. Oh, I got a turret down. Like, I really want to be objective and focus on the fort, because that's what's spawning a good deal of these bombers. And that's not fun for me. Ah, oh, the heavy turret. That's what killed me last time. Outpost offed. I believe that bonus was for killing it before the cruisers got there. Whoa, whoa, did I step on some mines or something? Okay. So that was my time loop. Let's uh, play it a little bit frosty for now. Do what casters do best. Hammer that sine wave cannon and launch pulsars in. <laughs> I especially love the pulsars because while it's good for doing damage against anything, if you can drop it inside a base, like, did you see in the bottom left corner how much damage it did to those assorted shields? Look at that! It decimates them! Like, it's like... Damage! So much damage! Massive damage! Oh, base busted. Alright. Didn't even need the cruisers. The cruisers. Alright. Do not rejoice yet, my hushlings, for we drive the spear yet further. Cruiser couple cross. Complete mo mission with both cruisers standing. Destroy base. Destroy outpost. Okay, well, I'm giving myself a personal achievement for beating them without needing the cruisers. Fight with Gandor! Live or die, we become historic today! Alright, I'm down for that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna let my friends deal with the trash mobs, and instead I'm gonna kill this cruiser over here that's spawning said trash mobs. Because that's intelligent, right? Raid that boat! Yeah, I am raiding that boat. What's it look like I'm doing? Boat raided! Do I get my money yet? Oh, I'm out of energy. Reload. Sage, I give you the honor of tearing down that Cathedral of Carnage. Should you choose to accept it, the arena lies just north, but my fleet makes west, straight for Kruger's Seat of Power. We will wait, we will rejoin there, space winds willing. You know what, I think I am gonna tear down the Colosseum. Mainly because I'm pretty sure there's a bonus objective that gives me plex for it, and I need that plex. And I almost died there. Massive losses to the reinforcements. 
Ah, Xerix. So Xerix is still tearing it up, is he? Good lord. How many people are swarming that cruiser? I gotta go save him, don't I? Alright, Cruiser's still alive, somehow. And instead of trying to single-handedly take out that entire base like an idiot, um... Um... I actually think I'm gonna try and single-handedly take out that entire base like an idiot. That, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. Fuck. Sorry. I get I get distracted so I'm just like, ah, stop talking. I wanna kill things. Yes, I know, you talk funny and you want the base destroyed. I can I can I can destroy base. Just stop stop pestering me. Sorry. I really should, but King Krugler's speaking King Krugler makes my throat hurt a lot. And that's not good. Oh shit. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, right on out of that death trap. Missed my laser. They killed me with those longbow missiles. Ah, those those longbow missiles, they're quite damaging. Is back up here yet? Back up! Yes! I don't expect you to actually do much damage, but you can distract the enemy and serve as meat shields. Scanner? That's no fun. Get rid of that. some of these heavy turrets that have been giving me grief. Oh, not the mega turret. No, no, no. I'll give you a hint. That big laser is bad news for me. I, um, don't exactly have time to go into specifically everything it does, but it, 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 it kills. It, it kills really hard. Wait, what am I doing? I mean, you can just go boom, 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 boom. Killed almost everything. Alright, now watch this. If I get on top of it and I just drop a pulsar... Oh, that damage! Look at that! Demolished! Pulsar's OP. Are they destroy? Oh, no, are they destroying my cruiser? Save the crew! Nope, too late. Cruiser's dead. You had one job! Well, I suppose they did distract the enemy. The king. Trash Hawk. Should have known you'd side with Slaga. You always were a rat lover. But I don't feel betrayed. You owed me no loyalty. Just don't expect me to not smile when I'm cleaning your guts off my mining drill. Xerix! Sling, sling your steel! Xerix, I commanded you to attack. <sighs> what a boring conclusion this would be. You know what this means, Bounty Hunter. Don't you dare try to help me, Hawk. 
There it goes. Fight for it, Xerix! I won't die of boredom. Xerix. Grugler is escaping! You're not actually going to let him get away, are you? I got this. Good hunting, Sage. We'll rout the remnants. Wait, did I get the achievement Scum Cruiser Survived? Because <laughs> I killed the base first, I guess. Oh, Krugler. I've been waiting a long time for this. You think you are free without a collar around your neck? Slag is just more adept at hiding his treachery than I am. That sounds quite ominous. Plex, he's promised you might as well be a noose. And when he's through, you will feel it tighten. That was for Mugen. <sighs> he has been avenged. The tracks of this space fill stretch many systems wide, but in the end there was only root enough Nah. But in the end, there was only room enough for one region. I am now the indisputable Scrap King of this galactic arm. And it is all thanks to you, Sage. We can never repay you for all that you've done. Unfortunately, I mean that quite literally. Our victory has cost us greatly. And so it is with much regret and beneath the burden of my new crown that I have contacted the CIR to collect the bounty on your head. Oh, fuck. Here's the sage I promised you. It's a Valkarian. Wait, where are you going? We can't take this one. Ooh, spoopy. So, he said what species name we are. A Valkarian. But, y'all won't know this yet, but in, in the scope of this universe, I do believe that Valkarian is a species that doesn't actually exist. Guess you start better forking over that plex. Sage, do you think me such a cunning entrepreneur? Did you think I had this planned all along? Well, long enough for the CIR to get here. 
It doesn't take the CIR long to stalk anywhere in the stars when a siege is involved. When I told you I didn't have the means to pay you, it was no gambit. In fact, without the bounty the CIR had offered, I see no way for my hutch to rebuild and recuperate. I would understand if you attacked us in retribution, but either way, my fate and the fate of my hutchlings has already been written. Damn. So here it is. King Slaga who threatened us at gunpoint, effectively freed us from King Krugler, and delivered, our, and delivered us our vengeance. But he is a liar and a betrayer, and he tried to turn us over to the CIR. We try to kill him, or let him go. Mm. Nah, I, I can't even pretend to think about it. I like Slaga too much. Besides, eh. I will remember this debt. Sage, may the cosmic forces to which you give credence smile upon you with a million stars. If I ever regain my reign and fortune, I will find a way to repay your kindness. I will remember your debt to me, Slaga. Everybody owes. And everybody pays. Mm. Hyper Messenger. Hulk, if you're hearing this, then my threads finally left the patchwork prison of my body. I hope I died in battle and not face down in some boring soup. Either way, this is my dead man's mailbox, and it's got more than this sappy message. You know that I was a bounty hunter for a little over four centuries, but you might not know I was quite successful and rich. Bounty hunting's not great for making friends and family, so I leave all my worldly possessions and fortune to my one and only friend. Thorna, my flail. <laughs> Oh, uh, thanks, Zarix. You know, for a moment, I almost thought that you considered me a friend. Thanks for clearing that up. <sighs> I'd like to extend you the honor of being the executor of my will. You'll find all my wealth hidden in a crate at the location I've provided. And yes, I'm aware that a space flail can't actually spend plex. That's why I've converted it all into bank transfers for an artisanal construction company. I want Thorna rebuilt and enshrined on an asteroid with a clear view of my home star, Australis 5. Thanks for taking care of this, buddy. <laughs> oh, and I left a little something in that crate for you, too. This mailbox will self-destruct in three seconds. Wait, what? Xerix, what? Okay, a deal is a deal. Hmm. Man, I would love to go... Actually, you know what? No. I, that might be my curtain calling, but I'm going to forestall it for just a little bit. I want to I wanna open Xerix's mailbox first. Why are we doing this? Seems like a waste of time. No, didn't you hear him? He said there was a little something in here for us. Huh? He also left his fortune to a spiky ball of star steel. And Australis 5, by the way, is not even in this galaxy. It could be in such a negative Nero. We're gonna open the box, because this mission doesn't take long. There's the box! Alright, we're gonna crack it open. Xerix's inheritance. We're gonna crack it open fancy style by smashing it against that wall. I can't use a Newtonian wave? That'll work. The F3 Eric Thonius. Ooh, a ship! 
it's an F3 Erythonius, and that's not all. Look at the scans! It's got an anchor drive! We can use it to get out of this film! But does that mean we'll have to leave our cruiser behind? No, we can just transplant the drive into the cruiser. Will it even be able to budge a ship that big? You don't know how an anchor drive works, do you? What am I saying? Of course you do. Because I do. An anchor drive doesn't move a ship one millimeter. It fixes a ship in place and lets the whole universe rotate past it. Regardless of our distance from the prime axis, one revolution only takes 52 hours. Sounds fast. What happens if we run into an asteroid? We'd blink out of existence and take the surrounding galaxy with us. Anchor space is exceedingly dangerous, but that's what the rings are for. Inheritance. See these rings? They're highways cleared of mass. It's safe to drop anchor there. You can be anywhere on the ring in 52 hours or less. What about traveling between rings? That's what the clipways are for, and also the reason why anchor drives require Duriel to operate. There's no other material in existence that can act as a rudder in anchor space. Even then, if you exceed the maximum clip angle, our anchor point will deatomize and the rest of the ship will immediately fall. But the computer and I will handle all that. You just, cues, you just choose the destination, and the cosmos will literally realign to bring it to you. Alright, let's go find this Australis V system. It's in the Havenant's Galaxy, a place even more rural than this one. How can you tell? It's in the middle of a stratum, away from the couth and cosmopolitan of the po cosmopolitanism of the rings. Alright, I want to rotate, wait, oh yeah, I'm at the Litter Glitter, and I want to rotate over to Australis 5, to the Necklace. We're going to anchor in right here, and watch the universe spin. Oh, that is cool. Like, you know, I I do love some sci some sci-fi space magic, and that, that is a cool concept, that is just plausible enough to count as science, because, think about it, if you could anchor yourself in one place relative to the center of the universe, then you wouldn't need to go anywhere, you just need for everything else to spin past you until you got where you wanted to go. Wanna take on new Erichthonius out for a little cruise? Sure, it'll be good to give it a test flight. It looks like Xerix left one of the weapon nodes unequipped. Well, what's it matter? We're just overlooking construction of a shrine, right? There's no CIR out in the middle of a stratum. No law. Can't be worse than the trash we just came from, can it? Mm, better pack your favorite gun. I recommend taking a photocaster, photocaster cannon, but it's your choice, Chief. Just hit the customize hull button to get started. All right briefly. Shop completed research on the A5F DSD and the A5 Strata gunship. All right. And what's happening over here is this is the um the research lab where you can research new holes and stuff to build. So the um the A5 Strata gunship was the pure arsenal hole, I believe, right? Yeah, it was the pure arsenal hole. I, w I want to get the um, pure holes, because when you hit rank 5, you get the hybrid holes, which are, mm, excuse me, like the A5C is an arsenal caster. I want to get the, um, I want to get the pure holes. So we have the A5 Strata gunship. Let's start researching. Let's caster. Gotta research some casters. Love some casters. Let's see. Customize hole. We have this weapon node over here. Got nothing in it. We currently have his abilities. We've got the mercury beam, heat canisters, a telephone. Hmm. Hmm. 
can get some more veterancy stuff. Ah, but we'd have to buy it. Hmm. So we've got the time macro as our sage thing. We could get stubborn thread. Prevents damage that would cause you to be destroyed and reduces damage by 90%. Okay, so that's kind of like the time loop. Black Worm gives stealth. This isn't a stealth ship. Reduce the duration of all debuffs. That could be handy. Reduce the cooldowns of Sage abilities. That could also be handy. I'm going to take the Stubborn Thread, because I like having a little bit of insurance. Let's see, it costs 60,000 flex to build and a 10k research fee. Sure. And my Fighter Veteran C. I don't care about Heat Breed or Fire Brand. Economizer is interesting. Crash Plating. That's, that's a useful one. If anyone actually wants me to just go through like the entire ship customization process and explain what everything will, I might make a video just for that, but that would be like a side mission video where I just kind of debut what everything does. In lieu of that, I'm going to um just pick the ones that I know I want and explain what they do. So crash plating prevents you or reduces the damage you take when you hit something. Stellar Shield generates shield based on movement speed. Ace Drive is the veteracy. I'm not gonna monkey with any of the um other stuff over there. Weapons! Repeating Photocaster. Fuck that. Photocaster Cannon. That's where it's at. Oh, I could get some faux torpedoes. It's projectile rocket. Ah, uh, but I don't have the uh, the reload, so I can't get anything with armament. Hmm. So I know. What do I even wait? Hmm. I could get. Nah, I'm not gonna get any armament. I'm just gonna get the photocaster shotgun cannon. All right. Launch. Okay, that took an extra 10 minutes, so that really is my curtain calling now. Thank you all for watching through to the end of the video, and if you have a few more seconds to spare, please do drop a like, a comment, or a favorite, because I don't know, I like to talk to people, I like to try and make people laugh, and if you tell me I made you laugh, it make me quite happy. So thank you, I already said thank you, ugh. I really need to rehearse an outro. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time down here in the lovely dark. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget to stay uberous.